Thanks, Jacqueline. Well, this afternoon, a man from Henry County, Virginia is in jail on drug charges. The sheriff's office says the SWAT team and investigators executed a search warrant at his home in Bassett yesterday morning. They arrested Douglas Martin and seized multiple ounces of suspected cocaine, 160 scheduled two prescription pills, along with an illegal firearm, four vehicles, two pieces of heavy equipment and an undisclosed amount of money. He's being held without bond. And this afternoon, Alamance Burlington school system officials will allow reporters to tour a school where mold was recently removed. This comes as the district is aiming to get students back in class on Monday. The start of school will be delayed three hours to give teachers time to get their classrooms. And looking ahead, a rally will be held this afternoon in honor of a 13 year old girl who took her own life. Her family says she was bullied at school and now community members in Stokes County are demanding change. And a push to add expanded gaming to the state budget has hit a roadblock, according to an email obtained by NBC affiliate WRAL. House Speaker Tim Moore told his fellow Republicans that he doesn't have the GOP votes needed to include a plan to open new casinos in the budget. The Speaker says Republicans would not pass a state budget that did not have at least 61 House GOP votes. President Biden arrived in New Delhi today, a day before the start of the G20 summit. The president will meet face to face with leaders of the world's largest economies. As Bree Jackson reports, Biden hopes to highlight the United States as a trustworthy alternative to China. You're watching WXII 12 News. And thanks for staying with us now as state Senate and House Republicans continue battling over a budget. More than 500,000 people in North Carolina are still not eligible for Medicaid expansion. One man says this battle is creating a life or death situation. As Laura Leslie reports, he traveled to Raleigh to try and make his case to legislative leaders. And that was Laura Leslie reporting. Now, a spokesperson for House Speaker Tim Moore says he was out of state at a conference but plans to return today. Brooks says he's been trying to pay for his prescriptions out of pocket, but his disability check is only $1,200 a month, so that doesn't go very far. North Carolina's state budget was due on July 1st. It's now more than nine weeks late. State government spending what? will continue at levels in the 2021 budget until lawmakers approve a new spending plan. And with the NFL officially back in action this year is expected to be the biggest ever for sports gambling. More than a quarter of all U.S. adults are expected to An approaching crisis that could leave millions of kids and working parents without child care. That's because at the end of this month, federal funding have proved, approved during the pandemic for child care is expiring. Rahima Ellis spoke with one child care center about the hard decisions it is going to have to make when the funding dries up.